Hi again, and Mike here from Jetpack CRM. Today I'm going to talk about importing contacts via the CSV importer. You get to the CSV importer page by going to contacts and import. From there, you're given this page so you can choose a file to import. But before you do that, it's worth clicking the learn menu and it gives you a bit of information about importing contacts from CSV and also a little bit of additional information around formatting and if you want to import other things like companies and transactions that we have a CSV Importer Pro extension which you can upgrade to. So if you click the learn more button you're taken to our guide on how the CSV should be formatted and there's a few example CSV files that I've just created to give us a head start here. So if you click view example CSV files it takes you to this Google Sheet and there's a bit of information so it's view only. So first up make a copy of the sheet find the tab that you want to import. So for me I do contacts go file download comma separated values and then your file is there. So then you can go back to here, choose the one that we downloaded before and start the CSV import. So then the first thing to do is tick, ignore the first line of the CSV if you've got headers in your CSV file and then you need to choose your mappings. So what this has done, if we go back to here, we have prefix, first name, last name, email, status, all the way to telephone. So these are your CSV header lines, which you see where it's saying that you want to map that row in your CSV to this field in the CRM. So I want to map prefix to prefix, first name to first name, last name to last name, etc. And there we go, everything is mapped. So it's just a one-to-one -one mapping because I've used the example CSV file, hit continue. So then it just says, okay, it's found one customer. So if you have a look, that's correct. There's one customer and these are the mappings that we've chosen and then just hit run import so then you click finish and you can see that this is the contact that we've just imported so mr mike start mike example and i'm a lead so then we can just repeat this process so if we add more people into here And then we'll just do something random in here. So it's a doctor. So you don't need all of the data in some of these columns. If you only have first names, that's totally fine. So I'm just doing a few here where there's got blanks. So there's a ton of contacts into the database. And again, so we do download comma separated values. We've got the file, jump back, contacts, import. And now we're importing a bigger list, but we're also updating that one person. So again, the same process as before. And then it shows import 22 customers Run the import. So you hit finish and all the contacts are in your CRM. And you can filter, tag and segment your contacts. If you want to learn a little bit more about segmentation, you can check out the video that's showing on the screen right now. And as always, if you've liked this video, please do subscribe for future videos. So there's a few other things you can import into Jetpack CRM. So this sheet here, I touched on contacts. You can jump back to the tab descriptions here and there's other tabs. So if you want to tag your contacts, then you pass IDs and you separate your tags with a vertical line. So you get that on your keyboard and it's shift and backslash. So that gives you your tags. So you can tag contact IDs through a CSV import. If you want to assign companies and tags, you can do it all in one go. So if you have a list of contacts and you know what company they work for. You can go on here and you can add the company name, company email and company tags. And you can also have a field for tags. So if, you, if you're tagging on the way in, you can do that 
using CSV Importer Pro as opposed to having to import, get the IDs and tag. And then transactions. If you have transactions that you want to bring into the CRM, so you've got a, a big spreadsheet with all the emails of everyone that's ever made a transaction with you, you get all of those contacts into your CRM to begin with and then you import the transactions afterwards. So again, with CS3 Importer Pro, you have these additional options to import transactions and start tagging contacts on the way in as well. So you can see the CS3 Importer Pro page here and there'll be a link in the description. So if you want to check that one out, you can take advantage of the additional flexibility of importing more objects and importing more data to your CRM. So once you've got CSV Importer Pro active, you can go to Import. And if you're looking to use the CSV Tagger, it's a very slightly different link. And the same with the Transaction Importer. So it opens up a couple of extra links for you, as well as giving you direct links to the files that are in the Google Sheet that I showed before. So that'll just download it directly as a CSV, and you can quickly import it. You don't need to go and make copies of. And that's all there is to it. The process of using this is exactly the same as before. So start the import. And then all of the contacts are added into your CRM. And that's all there is to the CSV importer. If you like this video, then be sure to check out the video showing on screen now, which is about adding contacts manually. And also the other video, which is looking into using tags and segments to sort and manage your contacts.